Nancy Fetzer's Sentence Building, Lesson 7, Extending the Basic Sentence with Where, Why, and Fancy Words. These are the things that you will need. A pencil, a red crayon, and your basic sentence organizer number two. We are ready to begin. Today we will learn how to add more information to a sentence. But first, we need an idea, something to write about. Let's watch this idea about a firefighter. Wow, that was fun. Let's write a sentence that tells about that idea. Get into writing position. Follow my steps. Step 1. Plan the basic sentence. Fill in both planning boxes. First, go back to the idea. Go to the left planning box and ask, Who or what was the idea about? A firefighter. The idea was about a firefighter. Draw a quick sketch to show the firefighter. To show who or what our sentence is about. Excellent work! Next, go to the right planning box and ask, what about the firefighter? What did the firefighter do? Sprayed water. The firefighter sprayed water. Draw a quick sketch to show that idea. Let's draw some whooshing lines to show water spraying. That's an easy way to remember this part of the idea. Good job! Step 2. Add more information to the sentence. First, we will ask the where and when questions. After that, we will ask the why question. The why question will give the reason why something happened in our idea. First, let's ask the where question about our idea. Where did the firefighter spray water? From his hose. From his hose tells where the firefighter sprayed water. Go to your planning page. In the right planning box, draw a quick sketch of a hose by the water. Good job! Next, we will ask the when question. When did the firefighter spray water from his hose? Look at the idea. There really isn't information that tells when the firefighter sprayed water from his hose. We don't know if it's daytime or nighttime. We only answer the questions that tell about the idea. So we won't use when in this sentence. Finally, we will ask the why question about our idea. Why did the firefighter spray water from his hose? To put out the fire. The firefighter sprayed water from his hose to put out the fire. Go to the planning page. In the right box, draw a quick sketch of a fire. That was easy. Good job. Step three, add fancy words. The magic shaker reminds us to add fancy words to the important parts of a sentence. Go to each box. Put an X on who or what you think is important to the sentence. The firefighter. Firefighter is important because that is who the sentence is about. Put an X by him. Sprayed water from his hose to put out the fire. Water, hose, 
and fire can be described in this part of the sentence. That's a lot to describe. Good writers only choose the most important parts of a sentence to describe. Fire is important because that's what this part of the sentence is mostly about. The fire. Put an X by fire. Add fancy words. After we decide who or what is important in a sentence, we then go back and add fancy words to the parts we marked with an X. Go to the firefighter. Ask the fancy word question. What kind of firefighter sprayed water from his hose to put out a fire? We can describe what the firefighter looks like, big and strong. Or we can describe using a feeling word, like brave. Always choose describing words that describe the important information about the idea. The firefighter is spraying water to put out a fire. Most people would be frightened to put out a fire, but this firefighter is being brave. Big and strong fits the idea, but brave fits even better. Write brave by the X. Go to the last X in our planning boxes and ask the fancy words question. What kind of fire did the brave firefighter spray water on from his hose? A dangerous house fire. That matches the idea. The fire is dangerous and it's a house fire. Write dangerous house by the X. Amazing job. Super work. Step four, plan for the capital and stop. Every sentence starts with a capital, and every sentence ends with a stop. Every sentence starts with a capital, and every sentence ends with a stop. Go back to the planner. Say the sentence. Then write the first word of the sentence in the left box and mark a period in the right box to show that's where the sentence begins and ends. The, capital T, H, E. The brave firefighter sprayed water from his hose to put out the dangerous house fire. Period. We showed where the sentence begins with the capital and where it ends with a stop. It's editing time! Grab your red crayon. Trace the capital T and the period to check that you have a capital and stop in the planning boxes. Good job. Step five. Now it's time to write the sentence. You've planned. You've talked. Now it's time to write. Please remember... If you have the skills, then you write it. If you are still learning the skills, then a helper writes it for you. Say the words as you write. The brave firefighter sprayed water from his hose to put out the dangerous house fire. It's editing time! Grab your red crayon. Trace the capital T and the period to check that you have a capital and stop in the sentence. Fabulous job! You have a complete sentence that tells all about the idea. You are ready to point and read your sentence. Go back and say the whole sentence. The brave firefighter sprayed water from his hose to put out the dangerous house fire. Read it again. The brave firefighter sprayed water from his hose 
to put out the dangerous house fire. Oh my goodness! Excellent job! That sentence tells all about the idea. Congratulations! You have written a complete sentence that tells what the idea was about, plus you added where, why, and fancy words to make a powerful sentence. Yay! Pat yourself on the back. You have finished Lesson 7, and after you finish your homework page, then you are ready to move on to Lesson 8.